So back in 2019, a national pension program was launched in Mexico called Pensión para Bienestar de las Personas Adultas Mayores. Basically, pension for the well-being of older folks. What it did was provide a guaranteed pension to people of a certain age, regardless if they've ever worked in Mexico. Well, recently I've been asked by several expats um, who have heard of the program and who are permanent residents in Mexico, and they're asking me if they would be eligible to also receive this pension. First things first, we're not talking about a lot of money here, so don't get overly excited, okay? People who qualify, and I'm gonna tell you who those people are, I'm gonna go through those requirements for you in one moment. People who qualify will only be receiving at this moment 3,850 pesos every two months. That's less than 100 USD every month. It's not a lot of money, and that's why I was surprised that some expats would even ask me about it, but you know what? When it comes to finances, everybody's in different boats, and uh, maybe 100 bucks means a lot to those folks. So I'm gonna answer the big question here. Can foreigners with residency status, not Mexican citizenship, but just residency status, qualify for this pension? The answer is yes, if they meet the following criteria. Number one, they are 65 years or older. Number two, They've had permanent residency in Mexico for more than 25 years. They're gonna to have to be able to prove that. That one's gonna disqualify a lot of folks. Number three, they have to have their CURP, which they should already have, that one's easy. And number four, you're gonna to have to have your proof of address that they reside in Mexico. Need some coffee here, it's early. So those were the requirements for foreigners who have permanent residency status, foreigners who have obtained their Mexican citizenship and are 65 years of age or older and reside within Mexico can qualify for the pension without having to have been in Mexico for 25 years. For you folks who are eligible to get a pension and wanna sign up, you're going to need to contact the Secretaria de Bienestar at the number that appears on the screen. For folks who like to read the source materials themselves, I've attached a link to the related document um, that I'm referring to primarily in the description portion of this video. Well, that's it for the video. I kept this one short and sweet. Uh, we've got a lot of wineries to go look at today. We'll probably do a video on that at some point, or maybe I'll just stick it in my Tecas Chiapan video. I, I don't know yet. We've been pretty busy. Well, until next time, hasta luego.